Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto Online will now arrive on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS coming March 2022, featuring a range of technical and graphical improvements across the entire experience, including performance enhancements for select vehicles in GTA Online, and so much more, according to YouTuber Red Gaming Tech and Twitter user Graymon55, the NVIDIA RTX 30 Super update will be announced during CES 2022 in early 2022. However, it is uncertain whether NVIDIA will release the Super Series for mobile and desktops at the same time. Several new announcements will be made during CES 2022, including Intel's Elder Lake mobile processor and a possible Art Alchemist announcement. AMD has something in store for us as well. AMD is anticipated to show off Ryzen 3D vCache based Ryzen processors, as well as mobile Rembrandt Silicon. Indeed, there will be a lot of activity in the CPU and GPU markets where each business has its own set of goods. NVIDIA RTX 30 Super Update is expected to contain GA103. NVIDIA will be able to provide more configuration possibilities with its new Ampere CPU. Especially for the mobile market, it's possible that the same is true for the desktop series, but no leaks have stated it yet. The GA102 GPU will very certainly be used in the reported RTX 3090 Super. For more details on the RTX 40 series, which is a successor to Ampere codename Lovelace also available. Unlike AMD's RDNA 3, this architecture will use a monolithic approach rather than a multi-chip module design. Backed against the wall by the rise of Taiwan Semiconductor, Intel is putting all its financial chips on the line, which has big implications for Intel stock. Intel has plans to spend a hundred billion each in Europe and the US over 10 years, but Gilsinger needs government subsidies to back his play. Intel had less than 25 billion in cash at the end of June and nearly 32 billion in long-term debt against a market cap of 220 billion. Markets remain skeptical. Taiwan Semi is now worth nearly three times Intel at 641 billion. It has mastered the ultraviolet techniques to bring circuit lines within just two nanometers of each other, while Intel just promised to learn how. 